Welcome to the Harper Classroom series of instructional videos. I'm Dr. Harper. This video is on Stochastic Inventory Theory Part 3, the base stock level, with Excel. This is Part 3 in a four-part series on Stochastic Inventory Theory, and this base stock level is in a periodic review system. Well, let's look at the concept. In a periodic review system, the inventory policy is simply order the lot size every t time periods. So here I'm placing my order. This is my inventory level. And I'm placing my order every t time period where t represents the inventory period and lt is the lead time. But our demand is not a constant rate demand. Our demand is a stochastic demand. So we will assume that it follows a normal distribution with a mean mu and variance sigma squared. When our demand is stochastic, then we consider something called a base stock level. Now at the base stock level, when you place your order, you will have an inventory position. And that inventory position is compared with your base stock level. And the difference is going to be your lot size. Then your inventory policy will be order up to the base stock level from your inventory position every t time periods. So now, let's look at the derivation. When you place your order, you have an inventory position, which is your inventory on hand. It could also include orders not received or back orders. But once you place your order, the lot size, along with your inventory position, indicates a level of inventory at the base stock level. And that amount of inventory must satisfy the demand over the time period from when you place your order until you receive the lot size from your next order. Because until you receive the lot size from your next order, the base stock level at your present order will be the only inventory to satisfy the stochastic demand during that time interval. I will call that interval the base stock level interval. So, the base stock level must satisfy the demand during the interval T plus LT plus the safety stock during that interval, inventory period plus lead time, for stock at level of alpha. Expressing that in equation, the base stock level equals the demand over the base stock level interval plus the safety stock for a stock at level of alpha. Previous videos have derived these equations where the base stock level equals the mean of the demand times the interval plus z, which accounts for the stock at level alpha, times the standard deviation of the demand times the square root of the interval. And that equation will be used to determine your base stock level. So the periodic inventory policy then, which is TBSL, is order up to the base stock level from the inventory position every two time periods, and there's the equation for the base stock level. So, let's look at some mechanics. Let's solve a problem. I've copied the base stock level equation. Suppose we have a weekly stochastic demand normally distributed with a mean of 539 and a variance of 67.24. Given an inventory period of one and a half weeks, a lead time of 0.2 weeks, a stock at level of 10%, which results on a service level of 90%, and the Z value is 1.282, which we will calculate using Excel. To copy down this equation, then substitute in the mean is 539, the T plus LT is one and a half and two weeks, 0.2 weeks, the Z is 1.282, and the square root of the variance, which is 67.24, times uh, t plus lt, which is 1.5 uh, plus 0.2. And notice I put the variance inside the square root sign instead of the standard deviation outside the square root sign. Doing the arithmetic, I have 1053.317. I rounded up. I could have rounded down or rounded up. I arbitrarily rounded up. Either one would be fine. The inventory policy then, TBSL, is 1.5 weeks and 10.54. So the periodic inventory policy then is order up to 1054 from the inventory position every one and a half weeks. So now, let's see how to solve this with Excel. So let's type in the values. The mean is 539, the variance is 6724, the inventory period is 1.5, and the lead time is 0.2 with an alpha of 0.1. Now the standard normal equals the normal standard inverse of 1 minus alpha 
Since alpha is the stock out level, 1 minus alpha then will be the service level. And there's the approximate 1.282. The base stock level equals. Well, the equation is given up here. We start with a mean, 539, times the sum of the inventory period, plus the lead time, plus the z value, times the square root of the variance, times, again, the sum of the inventory period, plus the lead time. And there's our equation. We press return. And there's our 1053.317, which we've run it to 1054. And that's how you solve this with Excel. But let me point out that the values are in weeks. Weekly stochastic demand, the inventory period is in weeks, the lead time is in weeks, and if you have time periods other than weeks, then you have to transform the time periods so that they're all in the same time units. And time conversions are covered in another video in Harper Classroom. So this is part three of a four-part series. And on part four, the Excel workshop, I solve parts one, two, and three starting with a data set. So this ends the video on Stochastic Inventory Theory Part 3, Base Stock Level with Excel. I'm Dr. Harper. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.